You mentioned that you were monitoring 190 um, Islamic State supporters in Australia. Can you describe their behaviour which leads you to lab label them as supporters? Can you characterise um, well, I, I that? Think, yeah, I think I said, uh, Senator, in my opening remarks that the characterisation of these people is through their activity of raising funds, recruiting, um, exhorting young people to join the cause and espousing the sort of virtues of the, of the ISIL message. And facilitating. And facilitating, yes. I, I think I mentioned m most of that in my opening remark. Are there any um, terrorists that you're aware of who are not Islamic? Oh, there are many terrorists around the world through history that haven't been Islamic. So. No, I'm asking you now. In Australia, are you, any, are you aware that any of the terrorists that you are monitoring are not Islamic? No. What's the percentage of them that are Islamic? Um, the majority are. Um, I think that if I look back over recent history, we certainly have had terrorists in this country that are not Islamic recently. And what's the ratio there? How many are Islamic, how many are not? Oh, I, I can't be specific on percentages and things, Senator, I don't know. The, the overwhelming issue currently, of course, is about the extremist, violent Islamic extremism that is, it is driving the, the terrorists, um, ISIL in particular. How much does it cost to monitor or keep under surveillance 190 Australian terrorist supporters? I can't answer that question, Senator, because we're not the only people, obviously, that are involved. Um, there are law enforcement agencies, federal and state. Uh, there are uh, other Commonwealth agencies that are involved, so I couldn't put a precise figure on it. Do you know the precise figure around about figure Attorney General? Well, I can't really add anything to the Director General's answer. I mean, he's in charge of operational activities um, and uh, the resources that are deployed by ASIO or by state or territory police or the Australian Federal Police or other agencies will depend on the circumstances of the particular case. So would I be able to put that on notice, please, so I can have a costing for that? Uh, well, no, I, Senator, I would not be able to give you a precise answer on that because we would be one component part of the whole and in our own organisation, uh, I am not prepared to break down publicly where we are spending our money in terms of the specific missions. I'm not asking um, to you, Attorney General. I just want an overall rounded figure what it's well, costing. Well, Senator Lambie, ASIO um, produces an annual report which is tabled in Parliament, and that annual report has annexed to it ASIO's financial statements. And those financial statements will give you a good, and, and also a breakdown, by the way, of, the, of its staffing establishment too, and are the relevant financial data. So that will give you an overall sense of the magnitude and, and, the, and the cost of the work that ASIO does. But you asked about particular cases and as the Director General and, and I have been pointed out to you, it's really not possible or indeed appropriate to give that information. So we won't take the question on notice because we have nothing more to say in answer to you. So you can't give me a roundabout costing well, we what can, it's I've costing you, you for 190 report. suspects? I mean, how incompetent is that, Attorney General? No, 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 it's On not. Your behalf? No, it's taxpayers' money. They would like to know how much it is costing them to monitor these 190 well, suspects. Well, and I think that is a fair question. Well, Senator, Senator Lambie, there are three things I would say to you. First of all, you can get um, uh, an idea of the cost of ASIO to the taxpayer from the annual report. Secondly, um, in relation to particular uh, cases, it's not possible to generalise because every case depends on its own particular facts and circumstances and the use of the requirement of resources will vary from one case to another. Uh, and thirdly, uh, as the Director General has pointed out, there are actually security reasons why it wouldn't be appropriate to uh, break down those figures and place them in the public domain. Nobody asked you to break them down, I just want to yeah, know No, I think figure. you did, Senator. No, I asked you for an overall figure. Well, That's all I'm asking you, the, you for. Then I can appoint you to, I point you to the annual report. Yeah, and I'm, I'd like it on notice. I'm putting it on notice, please. Well, like I, I've answer. given you the answer. I'm not taking anything on notice. The annual report will tell you the cost of, a, the, of ASIO um, and the um, 
uh, the size of its staff establishment and so on. All those figures are available to you. Can you give me a breakdown state by state of the number of traders and terrorist supporters? Uh, no, Senator, I, I wouldn't be prepared to give you that. Can you confirm there are 12 currently in Tasmania? Senator, I said I would not be prepared to confirm where these cases lie. And which state has the most terrorist suspect supporters? You're asking me the same question, Senator. No, I'm, I actually not... asked you which state has the most terrorist suspect supporters. That's all I'm, I'm not suspects prepared. I'm not supporters. prepared to comment on that, Senator. I have no further questions. Thanks.